<laughs> and here at Linara Connect, we have a Chromium OS running on the Snapdragon 845, is that right? Yes, that's right. So uh, what kind of uh, uh, board is, is this? So that's a, that's a development board from Qualcomm that used the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. Can you see on the other side? Or that's just out? like debug board where we just put it, but there is nothing interesting here. But there's... All right. And um, so this is running the 845 Snapdragon, which is one of the I mean, latest chipset that you can find from Qualcomm. And we've started to work on this chipset uh, several months ago, and uh, we've started to upstream in the mainline kernel. I mean, most of the support that you would expect for you know, running uh, such a demo. So display driver, audio driver, you have a yeah. Wi-Fi driver. You can close it to mic, yeah? Uh, the, uh, yeah, all the connectivity drivers, all the peripheral storage, and all this work has been happening uh, over the last few months. And here what you can see is the uh, Chromium. Yeah. This is the Chromium OS. Uh, so it's built out of the, I mean, the master branch of the Chromium, um, Chromium OS source code. It's running the 4.18 kernel with some of the, uh, I mean, a very few additional patches that to finish the uh, enablement of the software. Uh, what you see here, uh, you have hardware, accelerated video playback, uh, the rendering is done uh, thanks to the uh, open source freedom driver, GP driver, that I think you've talked many times about. And yeah, it's running, I mean, you can mostly run this stuff out of mainline in the next, one of the next very few uh, Linux kernel versions. Uh, so, uh, how, how's the performance? Is uh, a lot of optimizations that may still need to be done, or? Yeah, I mean, so the, in terms of yes, of course, there is performance to be done on the CPU side. So we are missing. I mean, it's not running at the highest speed on the CPU. It's not still not running at the highest speed on the GPU. Uh, and there are like uh, some LLC memory which is still not uh, enabled for this, and uh, video can be enabled for UBWC compressed format. So, so a lot of things, a lot of work which is yet uh, yet to be enabled on this which will improve the performance. What is this LLC? LLC is like last level cache controller, which is uh, which is similar to internal mem memory or cache memory, which will enable all the hardwares to be performing better. So that is not enabled here. So uh, you got free Greenero enabling this? Yes. So uh, what kind of work happened with that? Yeah. So hi. Hi. So um, what, what, what have you done with this one? So I mean, we've been spending uh, the week kind of Integrating the uh, hardware video playback with the uh, open source uh, uh, Arduino GL driver and getting everything working. Yeah, so you can close it to Mike. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. But, so yeah, it's it's early stages, yeah. but it uh, it works now. And, can we uh, go around and uh, click and stuff? Sure, sure. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> It might take a moment to load on the network here, but um, give this a second. Um, so it depends on the network. Yeah. But is this a is this a Snapdragon 845 development tablet or? Uh, it's a development board that we use. I mean, it's development some, board. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there's no there's no. Um, uh, 96 boards yet, or something like that, with the no, 845. No, no. There are a few of the Qualcomm partners that I could make yeah. board yeah. with 845, like such such as Sonosoft. So you can buy devices, I mean dev boards, which are pretty expensive. Uh, but there is no 96 board yet. Not yet. Uh, nice. Right here, you have your. How is that the full performance? Uh, no, I mean there's there's a bunch of driver features which I haven't had a chance to implement yet, like hardware binning. And, uh, what do you say, hardware binning? What do you say? Yeah, I mean it's 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 one of a bunch of uh, performance-related features in the GPU that uh, that I've not enabled yet. Maybe, so, maybe next week. So um, Chromium OS and Chrome OS uses a lot of hardware acceleration all over the place in yeah. the browser. Is is it? Is it e the hard work to enable all that in the browser? Yeah. So they use they use I mean OpenGL, OpenGL ES. So I mean as soon as you provide an implementation for that, uh, whatever they do in the browser is going to be uh, optimized on the GPU. Similarly for the video, I mean so they rely on some uh, very standard kernel interface such as V4L2, uh, which is the video interface for when you give like a compressed frame and you get an uncompressed frame back. And so as soon as your platform software, your Linux kernel provides this. Uh, implementation for the driver, then you get uh, optimized video playback in the browser. 
And uh, what is the role uh, around the Linara community to get this enabled? So, so yeah, that's a good question. Uh, so Qualcomm is a member of, uh, of Linaro and as part of uh, what Qualcomm wants Linaro to work on, uh, we are basically doing a lot of upstream work enablement in the Linux kernel for, I mean, many different and many uh, plat uh, Qualcomm platforms. So this is the latest one that we have been working on, I mean, for the, I mean, since last connect, and that's the result of what has been done so far. Uh, what you can see here, everything that runs here is open source. Um, Ninety-five percent of what you are seeing here is already merged somewhere. I mean, in the relevant upstream project, and there is nothing which is not going to be merged. I mean, in three months from now, everything that you see today will be merged in mainline kernel, in Mesa, uh, wherever it actually makes sense to be merged. So there is no proprietary software used. I mean, there are blobs, and like firm, uh, blobs used for the GPU and blobs used for the uh, video IP. But on the Linux side, there is no proprietary software at all. Which so, used. do you use the free do you know? You use the yeah, free, the the proprietary no, GPU no, we driver. Use, we, we don't use that. There's we use firmware it. that's mostly in Linux firmware. Yeah, yeah, all the all yeah the firmware that we need yeah are actually already available in the in, in Linux firmware project. On the Linux side, kernel and user space, there is no proprietary software at all. And how's the performance of Freeduino compared to the uh, real, uh, the not real, but the official Adreno driver? Uh, we are not ready to. I mean, we are we have not reached the full performance here. So I mean, doing benchmark today would make much sense. So we can't really talk to that. Maybe a next connect we will have more numbers. How do you do to optimize the GPU driver? I mean, like I mentioned, uh, hardware binning is a, a important feature that's still missing. There's. Um, uh, LRZ and then with compression, tile textures, um, some uh, 4G LES in particular, we need to uh, have half, uh, medium precision support in the shader, which is mostly mostly not for Drina specific, it's a lot of Core Mesa stuff and uh, some folks from Magalia are working on that already. So as, as all those different things fall into place, uh, it will get considerably faster, of course. And uh, um, uh, let's say when, when Google releases a Chrome OS Chromebook, what is the difference between what you do and what they do? They just take it and so, use it? So when Google make a product, they pick one SOC, it could be I mean any of them. And so what they do, they start with Chromium OS, okay, which is the open source version of Chrome. And what they do, I mean, we don't really know, right? So what they, they add some more like a Google services, property software, an API, they hook up into the Gmail and whatnot. This is, I mean, here what you are seeing is the open source version, which is only Chromium. What Google does is, I mean, we don't know basically. They might bring a lot of customization. Yeah. A lot of customization. Uh, is there any way to say how far this is from a product? Or how, uh, I mean, like is, potentially a product? I mean, this is just a bunch of developers trying to work with upstream. And this is a cool demo. So that's, I mean, the software is available and that actually makes a demo. We usually, I mean, you've seen that at previous Connect. We always make the demo on the Snapdragon. So we thought it would be a nice idea to actually show something slightly different this time. So how's the performance of the Snapdragon 845? Is it the coolest processor right now, this far smartphone? Uh, it's got lots of lots of juice in there, right? Well, it depends if you take Apple into. <laughs> uh, in terms of all the Android, I mean, Apple this is, is not a Linaro, no. No, no, it's not, not, no, not, no, not yet. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> no, okay. it was okay. a joke. Um, yeah, so it's the flagship um, chipset from Qualcomm this year. So every it's high-end phone, second generation, ten nanometer. It's the latest. There's a lot of stuff you can get out of that to oh, yeah. Yeah, get cool performance. And yes, the, the exactly. browser is uh, as fast as any consumer would want. And potentially, you could open a whole bunch of tabs, and it will just load, render everything. I mean, I mean, of course, there will always be, I mean, limitations. You are limited by the memory most of the time that you have on these platforms. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is the best. CPU you can get out, I mean, to, today nice. on the market.